Welcome back everyone, it's Kirak here. Welcome back to another Minecraft episode on the Blockshire Minecraft server. And uh, yeah, it, uh, okay, so I do Minecraft streaming on Mondays. I call it Minecraft Mondays. Today is a Tuesday, so we're doing Minecraft Monday on a Tuesday. Just the way it worked out. Um, you can see I, I was working on the wall here, if you guys recall, and so I decided to build a closer uh, wheat farm. We are going to be harvesting it soon to get some more wheat, more food. But if you recall, we had a sample wall built up. And the, uh, the for those of you following on YouTube, in the last episode, I was kind of disappointed. We did a section of the wall for real, built it up for real with the real materials. And in the end, I ended up deciding that the wall was just too curvy. And what we did is we actually followed the contour of the mountain exactly so the wall was going from where that circular tower will be to that circular tower which is the bigger one which will end up being the keep and it followed the contours of the mountain and because of its curved edges because of how curved it was oh just my plays hey man welcome to the stream dude uh dropping in before i head off to bed how you doing i'm doing well good to see you and uh thank you for hopping in i appreciate that man you're welcome anytime uh, so I ended up uh, tearing the wall down because I found that adding in the uh, machical machiculations, um, the merlons, the crenellations, all this stuff over here just wouldn't work on a curved wall. I mean, on this straight sample you see here, it works fine. But on a curved wall, it was just impossible to make it work, which kind of made me feel bad because... I don't want to have straight blocky walls. I don't want it to be boring as a castle. But it looks like I have no options. So what I noticed was when I did that sample that a step in three blocks. So this is basically, oh, oh God, let me go over here. This is basically a three block wide, three block gap, three block wide, three block gap, and so on and so on. In, in a if the wall curves in a step of three blocks, which is what you're seeing here, or let me start at the beginning, it's easier to manage a curve. So I started here from this tower, three blocks, then I staggered it, three blocks, three blocks, and I staggered it to a point where I could go straight for a bit, then I began staggering it again, three, 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 and doing an offset of one every three blocks should work. It should work out better when I start putting the matriculations and the crenellations and all that stuff on the on the top of the wall. And then here it straightened out again, and then again three block, one step, two step, and then uh, as long as it needs to be, won't matter. Here it's three blocks anyways. The back wall won't matter because we're not going to have matriculations uh, or a battlement on that side, only on the, the side facing out. So my next task is to rebuild this wall with this step. And you'll notice doing it this way leaves a bit of mountain just outside, which means I'm going to have to shave it away. I'm going to have to blend it into the mountain once the wall is done. But I'm not doing that until I build a sample wall again and then try putting in the battlements at the top and see how well it works. Now, discovering this kind of made me feel down about it but i i'm doing it in three block steps to see if i can preserve some curvature to the wall therefore keeping it a little bit more exciting rather than a straight boring box um but it it taught me that this keep and the towers in the corner so one way down there one over there and one over there won't work either because they're curved walls and, and putting in battlements at the top of these just it's not gonna it's not gonna fly so I spent some time figuring out how to make it as a square tower and so we're gonna do that we're gonna make square towers this is 29 blocks 29 block diameter uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove two blocks so one on each side one here oops and then one at the end there. So now we have 29 minus 2, 27. And that's divisible by 3, uh, which gives me the right spacing for uh, the battlements with matriculations and everything. Uh, but I'm going to turn it into a square rather than a triangle, which makes it easier to build in those matriculations and battlements. 
So that's my final size. I'm going to get rid of the circle and make a big square. It's a lot of space, but I don't mind that. The keep is usually a really big building and a relatively tall building. So we're going to we're going to replace that with a square. We're going to replace those ones with a square and those are also going to go down in size by two blocks to keep it divisible by three uh, over there, over there and whoops, over there. Um, however, what I have decided is I am going to keep a circular building and that will be this guy that's attached. We're going to remove it and reposition it and we're going to make this the donjon of the castle. So um, I've been doing a little bit of video watching, research on castles and parts of castles, walls of castles. And this is great because this project's kind of opened my eyes to a whole building architecture that I never knew or imagined existed. Um, castles basically have a really, really tall tower that they usually refer to as the donjon. Uh, and then usually in proximity of that is the larger tall tower, either square in shape or round, that's the keep. At one point in castles, there was no real distinction between the two. A donjon was interchangeable with a, a keep. But somewhere along the line in history, it kind of divided into two. And a donjon was usually a tower that was much, much higher, meant to keep uh, higher status prisoners for ransom, uh, while the keep was the Lord's Manor. And that's what we're going to do. The square building is going to be my house, the Lord's Manor, and the um, donjon is going to be a circular building left to the side, uh, a little wider than that and much taller than the keep, which will only have a roof at the top, no machiculations or anything like that, because it's not meant to be a place where to battle people attacking the castle. It's not going to have a machiculation at the top or a battlement at the top. And that will keep this a little more interesting uh, because we'll have a circular building in here finally. Then once we've done that, it'll allow me to kind of learn how that works. Uh, and then we'll decide on the keep or the gatehouse I meant, sorry, which is going to go over there where I'm pointing. And then eventually the smaller towers. I have an idea for the smaller towers. But what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to replace the dirt representing the keep area with a square, replace those guys as well. And then we'll come back and start building a new wall, okay? I'll see you guys shortly. All right, I, I want to do some experimentation first. Um, this is what I have in mind. And I'm going to be going through smooth stone, so I might as well cook some, but I'll do that after. Uh, let's see. Uh, the wall could start off with... Oops, damn it. I hate missing with this block, because once you break it, it's cobble. Something like that. Oh, this is going to be hard to get. Okay. And then we could transition into... No, that's not going to work. What if we did the reverse? What if we started with this block at the bottom? Oh, uh, did I run out? I have more. See, I like it because this block looks solid. It looks like it's a structure block, right? Uh, let's get some dirt going so I can go up. This is my, my step stool up there. And then let's say we start placing some, some of these like that. Maybe another one there. And then we'll go back to smooth stone and start transitioning to smooth stone. Smooth stone here, another block there. Oh, did I did I make a hole? I did make a hole. And then we we basically made a transition to smooth stone completely. So we'll do another layer. This is a mini wall, okay? Then we start going, no, 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 we don't. Then then uh, eventually the top of the, of the castle wall will end off, let's back up a bit, Ooh. will end off like that. And, and that looks like you have a so strong structure wall. Then you have maybe some kind of covering on top of it because a lot of castles back in the day had a, um, 
a finish to it. They would they would cover the the wall, the bricks or stones that made up the wall, and we could scatter some of uh, more bricks like the like this one uh, throughout the wall, like one straggler or little patches of three or four together, and I think that'll make the wall pop. And then at the top, because it's going to be all smooth stone. Uh, okay, let's go up one more. Let's do a, another layer or two. Because it's smooth, right? Once we start building in the uh, the matriculations and the whole battlement, let's just do this like a really rough. See, like that. And then, of course, it's going to have one up here, one up here, one up here. Oh, no, that's not quite right. It, yeah, it's, it's really rough. Really, 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 really rough. Whoa, whoa, don't fall off. Kind of like that. So let's pretend that's right. We'll have distinction, whoops, we'll have a distinction or a contrast between the matriculations that hang low and the wall top that goes across, uh, uh, between that and the actual wall itself. I think that's the way to go. And then we can scatter in some uh, mossy cobblestone or even mossy, I think you can get mossy uh, stone bricks, if I'm not mistaken, randomly throughout. In some areas, we could even poke a hole in it, make it look like it's run down and broken and it needs repair. So I think I'm gonna leave this up. I think this is the look I'm gonna I'm gonna go for in the castle. So we're gonna begin at the bottom with stone brick. We're gonna transition to smooth stone right up to the top, and then the matriculations or the whole battlement matriculations, uh, merlons, uh, crenellations, and everything that makes up the battlements, the ramparts, uh, is going to is gonna have that look to it. On top of that, so I think that works. Oh hey, how's it going? Huh? Anyways, I'll be back in a moment, guys. Okay, welcome back, guys. So I just figured I would pop in while I'm putting the new wall up. You'll see that uh, I've already gotten up pretty high. we got to get up to the top of this pillar. That'll be the correct height of the wall. What I'm going to do real quick is uh, show you from a distance how the pattern is looking. And then uh, once we get up to the top or the height, the appropriate height, then we'll start building in the matriculations. So you can see this time we started with the bricks, the smooth bricks, and then slowly blended off into smooth stone, which means when we get up to the appropriate height, which is the height of that, and we build in the battlements, the whole ramparts and everything, that's going to be built out of the same stone bricks, so it'll contrast against the smooth stone. But I'm going to go right up to the top and uh, start building in the, the actual uh, battlements. And then bring you guys back for a final close on that, okay? So I'll see you back in just a moment. All right, guys. I'm bringing you in on the last one that we're adding to the outside of the mountain. So far, it's looking really good. Oh, I did forget to connect these, but we're gonna we're gonna do that. But I got one more to do, so let's let's put in the last one. Oh, I'm stuck too high, and I gotta get rid of this uh, scaffolding. These, this, this is scaffolding, not the new scaffolding in Minecraft. I, I don't, I know the recipe. They, the guys on the server told me, but I don't have enough materials to do it to make proper scaffolding. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we do stairs here, 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 here. Then we do three fences, one stair and one fence and they're done uh, but we still need to connect them in between which isn't that hard to do so i'm going to start connecting them in between and then bring you guys back once i've got them all connected we're going to head down to there and look up and see how well it works ouch ow okay welcome back guys so we finished it um, I had started recording earlier, but I kind of skipped that recording because uh, I realized that I hadn't thrown on the crenellations on the top of the castle. So what I'm doing now is I'm removing the scaffolding, and then I'll have you guys... We'll, we'll look at it from afar, uh, 
to kind of get an overall view of it. And I think we've come up with something that is very acceptable, very pleasing to the eye, and will work as a castle wall that curves. And now that the, the fundamentals we've learned here can be applied to all the walls. Whoa, that's not good. Can be applied to all the walls. I'm about to die here. That we put around the castle. Hmm. I'm still old school. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, I'm still old school and I do my scaffolding in dirt. I believe you can actually make scaffolding now in Minecraft. I just... I, I don't... I wouldn't use string for that. Why would you use str Oh, God, I did it again. But I guess I gotta try it before I knock it. So one of these days... I'll make some actual scaffolding. I think it's... It, what, what was the recipe? String and uh, slime to make... I think it's string and slime or something. I can't remember. To make actual scaffolding. Bamboo. Okay, thank you, Dresham. Thank you. Whoa! And that's a death. <laughs> ah, good stuff. <laughs> Sumax, like, oh! That's my second death today. <laughs> Let's get my stuff. Go this way. I have everything. These pants have never gone away. Curse of vanishing. Because the chest uh, overrides the vanishing thing and uh, puts them back in my inventory. Because apparently when you die with something that has vanishing on it, it's supposed to vanish. That's the whole point of it. But that don't happen here. Nope. All right. Uh, wood. Uh. All right, let's go. Let's go take a look because we've actually removed the scaffolding. Come on, come on, don't, don't. Let's take a look and see how it looks, how it is. We're going to go down anyways, and I came back up. But look at that. We'll get a side shot from here. Check it out, guys. It's not bad. Wherever we have a step, I put in... Uh, you could say I put in reinforcements with the uh, fences. I noticed that I'm missing it there. I should do it on every 90 and there. So we're going to pop them in there. But for now, I'll, I'll do that off camera. For now, for what we got, let's go down to the bottom to actually get a good look at it distance away and see what it looks like and the fact that I chose stone smooth stone and then uh, smooth stone brick should contrast and make it look really good oh, easy easy oh it's almost night that's not too bad yeah, that's that's a little bit visually that's a little bit distracting i'm not very happy with it i might pull this down and do sections so notice how it really breaks down when i do because what i was doing is i was breaking it down to sections of three so these are three blocks this is another three blocks this is another three blocks and so on and so on oh i love the transition between the smooth stone and the and the smooth stone bricks and then there's contrast there so that's good that worked uh, but notice how on this area it looks so much better on this area it looks so much better what i might do is i might do six block transitions so i might tear this wall down again 
and do six block transitions. So it'll be six and then six and then six and then six, and it should look a lot nicer. Well, if uh, if we <laughs> bamboo, ouch, <laughs> if we uh, do that. That on the next episode, I'm probably going to do all of it and then bring you back with a revised version rather than take you through this again a third time because this is my second time. So I would say uh, our, our approach and attempt has been successful. In two goes, we've, got, we've come a long way, but I think I'm going to need at least one more. And it is time to sleep. There are people on the server. I'm going to log out. Because uh, I'm going to end the stream and I'm going to end the recording. So I'm going to log out. That way they, those people can uh, get to bed if they need to. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the stream. Thank you for watching the episode on YouTube. Um, so I'm not, I, I am going back to the drawing board. It'll be f second time because we did it once, went back to the drawing board, did it a second time. Now we're going back to the drawing board and we're going to do it a third time. But I think we're getting closer. It does mean that if I go in six increment segments that I'm going to have less of a curve. So I'm, I'm kind of giving in to the straight wall, but not quite. But anyways, thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. And there's this, this, this. This, this, this. And that, that, that. So I'm trying to see how I can add all these machicolations, merlons, crenellations uh, on a wall that's curved. And that was the whole point of building this section of the wall and getting the sample. And there it goes. I was expecting it to break.